Hello everyone, um, I'm your host Penguin, so today is uh, my devlog one and how to set up Azure DevOps to work on project in Unreal Engine that you want. So let's get started. So this is the uh, page of Azure DevOps, we're gonna start using, so we're gonna start for with free plan. And if you don't have a, a Microsoft sign-in account, okay, let's get started. So uh, after you've uh, done your uh, sign up using, uh, we're gonna we're gonna build uh, an organization with our name, and uh, and we will choose where our central um, project files will be saved on the cloud. So I live in Asia, so we're gonna go with Southeast Asia and we're gonna go and get the capture. Hope it works. Well, this is uh, taking in, uh, we need another account just to uh, sign up again. So this is my second account that I haven't created yet. So we're gonna now do do it. Okay. You can also use an Outlook account. But I'm using my Gmail account so that I get the email address code. We're gonna verify it. Oh, 4915. I'm just gonna blur this out, so no worries. Please solve the puzzle. Ah, create, pick the ice cream. Okay, where is the ice cream? One time, I need to pick the ice cream. I think this is the ice cream one. Pick the ice cream. We are done and we have successfully created a Microsoft account with our Gmail account. Let's see. So, this is our um, DevOps, uh, Azure DevOps organization. If you don't see it uh, in the organization settings, <coughs> you can also add it. You can also, this is uh, this is my penguin organization name, Penguin Stream. So, and I could have a private uh, URL if you, if I want. And I can also delete my organizations. Uh, so this is how it works. Uh, so let's get started with creating our own project in Unreal Engine and just make people uh, invite people to our um, project so that everyone can contribute on the repository that we're gonna set up. So let's see my test my test project. Let's call it. Add a description. Testing dev log. So we, this is gonna be a private one. So uh, and in the advanced settings, we're gonna work in basic, not agile, you know, and we're gonna have a Git control version. So we're gonna uh, create the project here. The project has been created, and we can now work on our uh, repository. We can upload it. We can do many things with it, and I'm gonna show you how to do everything a bit later. Okay, so here's the repository that we uh, uh, that we will use to add some codes, and we're gonna and I will show you how to push, pull, and follow through, and get your uh, get your files on the cloud and easily access for anybody you want to invite. So first, we're gonna go with the Git repository. Then I will show you guys how to invite friends or colleagues or anyone that you want in your repository and on your organization or a contributor on your project. So we're gonna first 
go into the Epic Games Launcher. So we just launched our um, game engine. So I'm using Unreal Engine 5. You can do it with Unreal Engine 4 and so on. So no worries. So we're just gonna test it because this is a test test project. P R O J test project. We're gonna go with the default. I'm just gonna make on the projects settings test project dev log and this is gonna be a third person project uh, just to show you guys how to how to actually make it to work and for uh, while it is initializing let's get you guys started with git for windows you if you click on it and you're gonna go with git everything version just be sure to download git uh, git desktop I go to GUI and we, we are gonna use uh, git desktop and source tree if you if you want but we're gonna go with git desktop I already have downloaded the git desktop 64 version here is it it's the git 64 bit version git repository on the project settings so let's just create a new repository for our so we're gonna go with new repository and test repo devlog we're gonna go with unreal engine tpp third person we're gonna go with git ignore unreal engine because why not it's gonna and we don't have a license and we can choose our local path from here and the project and go to our saved project where we have saved and mine is in git devlog so this is the this is the project I think and create the repository after the repository has been added to our <coughs> added to our uh, git git desktop so we're gonna uh, make sure that the devlog is it is saved here so what we will do is we go back and we just cut paste everything in here and the git will automatically get everything here uh, get everything on the repository and we're gonna commit we're gonna say main commit with no descriptions as we have to we are publishing on our repository we're gonna give this unreal tpp in not github.com we are gonna go with command line and we're gonna punch out some codes to our repository and this is how you push an existing repo repository on the cloud so we are gonna get the git repository and just gonna copy and paste it all here as you can see the remote uh, remote repository has been added to our here and we can now push all to origin if we uh, press enter I think everything is gonna get uploaded get push origin all so we're pushing to origin so this uh, this is work uh, so for the password that uh, for the password we're gonna go on git credential and this is the password this is the username as we are using the and press enter I think ah <sighs> branch new branch publish branch
So uh, I did I did a small mistake. No worries. So we're gonna go to repository and push push to origin. The username would uh, would be penguin stream from here, and we're gonna use it penguin stream and the password from here. Control V, save and retry. So after that, it's gonna fetch the repository and set the. We will commit our changes. After the commit changes, we will. So our commit has been uh, done, and we can now push to origin and click, click on the push origin and after the upload has been done we will see our changes on the cloud and if uh, a small note for everyone who's who will be asking on the comments uh, azure devops already has git lfs install uh, auto auto installed so you don't have to initialize the lfs again if you have already uh, set up the git ignore file with uh, with the id uh, with git desktop as you as you have seen so we don't need to initialize git lfs to our uh, repository so that's a plus point with microsoft devops so our, uh, we have successfully committed our changes uh, on the main initial commit and we can see our main commit has been done and it's on uh, it's showing on the history tab and no changes has been made let's see let's just uh, reload it and we can see our repository build up so this is how you upload it and on the next video we will show you how to how you can invite friends or uh, colleagues or anyone you want to have uh, to set up and clone from the repository or uh, from your organization project to your own local desktop. Thank you.